What's up everybody, I'm back here with you for another episode of Light Dead Redemption. And we're finally doing it. We're finally attacking Front Mercer. We got all the prep work done. The assault on Front Mercer. Got all the preparations done. We've got our team together. Time to get Bill Williamson. Let's get him. John. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. A moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. <laughs> hey, I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Shut up! Shut up! They'll know I'm in here. They don't mind being here with a Gatling gun. Shut up. <laughs> Where's that guy? That can turn as a kidnapped bunny. The same guy. How shall we kill him? I don't know it. Kill them all. Let's just kill them all. Don't get picky and just what would you say get all of them. Immortality was at hand. What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? What would you say if I told you? I could turn a man into a beautiful woman. <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords it loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system why some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month they can chew through steel <laughs> Con. Quit laughing at me. Are you laughing at me? No, no. Uh, 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 uh
Okay, I'll take some help. Take some medicine. Where's that dude? There he is. I got you. Die! Just die! Um, I'll do some more. Come on. I'm not allowed. Oh, I've got some dynamite. Say that you're on a gatling gun. You can't use dead eye. Take some more medicine. Yes, I think we've got him. We're learning it. Well, we've got the ones here. We can go and chase the last of them. Fucking dang pig! Them cock sucking song bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. I'm just kind of. I could have landed, but now I'm not over. Two down. Any other? Any more of you fuckers want to mess with me? We got them all. I think that's most of them, boys. Come on, let's regroup. Let's go. Where, where are they Oh, right here. Let's go. That's the last of them. We, we got him. Find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy. The fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen! These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way! Oh my good lord above! There must be a hundred of them! So good on you, Ice Dickens. You've got to say there's a hundred more guys coming to get you, so you leave the gap and go outside the fort. Okay. I'm quite sure where the logic is in that, but.
Wait, did you say we got them all? Yes, we got them all. We looked everywhere. Hold on. Hold on, I missed it. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Well, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. You earned a trophy, land of opportunity. <laughs> Is that America or Mexico? <laughs> if it's America, it's not the opportunity to get what I'm after. He's gone to Mexico. Yeah, I lose my lead bodies while I'm here. Get myself some money. Where's the guy here? I've done the guns and that, just littering the ground. Yeah, I did get that guy. Right. Get plenty of ammo. I got anything? Oh, is that it? Is that it now? How are you, Mister? That's right, so where we're going. It's down here somewhere. Yes, that is. Let's go then, John. That's what I think she's supposed to be taking us over to Mexico. To a faraway land. What the fuck? Oh shit. Down you come. I'll take these and 
tattoos. If you're not going to take them. I'll skin these wolves. I think, I think they're wolves, aren't they? I don't think they're coyotes. Yeah, they are wolves. That's not a wolf. That is. Oh shit! Yeah, get that fuck off me. Let's get in this one. Let's make this quick. Any others I haven't skinned. Someone, something dead over there. What's that? Is that another wolf? Probably. It's probably another wolf. <laughs> you can see the, see the bush that it's in. <laughs> in the skin animation. <laughs> I'll skin this one as well, since it came after me. Maybe we might actually get to Mexico at some point. This episode. Let's get gone. We'll get gone. Before any wolves can attack me. I don't have to skin any more then. I don't have to skin any more wolves if I don't kill any more. There you go. Um, woman, your wagon's here. Better. I'm just looking about the body of the robber. And keep going. I'll leave it with you. Going towards Irish. It hasn't been such shut out. Idiots. It's not my fault the woman's so stupid that she didn't see the wagon right there. Whatever. Whatever, carry on. Let's just get to Irish. Yeah, all the play, all the time I've spent on Red Dead 2 recently. This is the first time I'm playing Red, Red Dead 1 since before Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. And as good as that game is, this game's still fucking fantastic.
But ethics don't look too bad either. See, it's a, like 10 years old, a 10 year old game or whatever, like 9, 10 years, something like that. Just a fantastic game. Everything, gameplay, story, characters. And the soundtrack. The soundtrack's brilliant. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, we are there, there. I think I should say, yeah, I think that's save it. Uh, yes, I got the improved campsite. Not sure if that was in the last video or that I did that when I wasn't recording. But yeah, I'll save, I'll save the video now. Save the save the game now. Now let's go. Let's go, Joe. Just camp next to that for six hours. Let's go then. We shall be together in paradise. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London, or Paris, or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world, where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. <laughs> me, Tony boy. I'll be late to me on funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. That's the truth. I thought I was the Scottish invent whiskey to stop. Invent wh whiskey to stop the Scottish zone in the world. Or maybe it was just blatant. Well, I Well 
rum. Okay, got another. When's the last time? Any more Mexicans want to come let me kill them? Well, they might not all be Mexicans, actually. Hey! He's going for a swing. What was that, John? <laughs> what, what, what did you say? It is very much here in Mexico, do they? Six bullets. Where's the ammo? Have I got any? Can I get any more? Or is that it? This is the fourth time your so called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, their big brown eyes turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that poke? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of his self cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? <laughs> They're still coming behind that big rock. Come on, then. You're just about dead. I think they are dead, John. Well, well, you will insist on recognizing well, the territory, so you don't know. Oh, there we are. Shaker! You know who I am! Oh, crap. Instant medicine. I'm nearly dead. So I'll take some. Get some wounds out.
Yay! <laughs> oh god, seriously? John, what the hell did you do last time you were in Mexico? <laughs> to deserve this kind of welcome. Oh, Irish, whichever one of you is, it is. What the hell did you do? Moron! That bird was a scout. And take it down. That one's not. You tell me. You must have been called it a few times. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's that kind of man. What are you waiting for? Switch back to the revolver. I don't know. Got him. Any other, any more of you fools want to mess with me? I'll have you. I'll miss these escapades, Johnny boy. I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. <laughs> yeah, don't. Get that whiskey down here. Yeah. You'll forget about it. Oh, shit. Just oh, we've got two horses here. How convenient. There we go. Oh, these horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I. I, I Met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a back ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs> Thanks. 
Thank you. 